often the attitude was, the old fashioned attitude was, suppress the sexuality. It's okay to live your life privately, but don't put it anywhere near the public eye because people will only see you as one thing, which is something I really, really struggled with. Hi, Frothy here, and I'm going to be talking about my pride experiences with Attitude Magazine. I joined the um, MCU last year, playing a character called Kazi in um, the Disney series Hawkeye, and feel unbelievably proud of the fact that I achieved that as, a, as an openly gay actor. Whenever I was studying and seeking advice from you know, what I deemed to be very, very learned, experienced people. Often the attitude was, the old fashioned attitude was, suppress the sexuality. It's okay to live your life privately, but don't put it anywhere near the public eye because people will only see you as one thing, which was something I really, really struggled with. So to be able to be living authentically and very, very openly, about who I am and yet still be given an opportunity like that. I don't I don't take lightly the importance of and the significance of that at all. Because I hope that other young queer actors that are coming through the ranks can see that it's possible to be to be anything that you want to be. I think what initially drew me to acting in the first place um, was the sense of putting on different armor, putting on different clothes, becoming someone else and hiding from myself. That's why a lot of actors get into it. You know, it's make believe, it's play. But there was a, a deeper, a deeper importance for me, which was literally becoming someone else. Um, um, but when I moved to London and started acting in, in musicals, particularly in the West End, I found people that grew up in a different part of the world, in a different part of, the, of Britain or a different part of Ireland and such similar life experiences and challenges and had found home in London doing the thing that they love. That included, you know, many straight people, lots of queer people. And I felt as though then I was able to live more comfortably, comfortably in my own skin and not the skin or the clothes of a character. So that was vastly, vastly important and hugely significant in, in finding pride in myself. Not a version of myself, but just me. I grew up in Northern Ireland in a little rural place in County Tyrone. And the idea of, of being proud of myself was just so, Far, such a far stretch. At the very, very most, it would have been coming to some form of acceptance for who I was. And I don't want to, to demonize any institution or anything, or <laughs> do I? Um, but there's certain things that I, that, I, uh, that I look back on and feel such sadness and frustration and, um, yeah, a bit of anger at, you know? I remember in, relig in religious studies class, having to write an essay about how homosexuality was just blanket wrong. Um, and if I hadn't done that, I would have got a low grade because that, the correct answer was to say that it was a sin. And, then, and I can't quite believe that that happened to me and to so many others, um, so many other LGBT people growing up in that place at that time. It means that a, a certain level of shame follows you for such a long, long time and you've had that level of indoctrination. But I believe that the waves that have been made um, in the last five, ten years have been so, so massive. The referendum in, in the Republic of Ireland was huge for marriage equality and you know Northern Ireland followed suit eventually. So I take such um, pride and comfort from the fact that young queer people at home are able to live their true authentic selves now and are 
potentially able to come out to their friends at school. It's, an, it's so, so beautiful and quite overwhelming to think about because it was just such a wholly different experience whenever I was growing up. I believe the first Pride Festival in County Tyrone took place last year in, um, in Oma. The idea of that happening whenever I was a teenager was just so unbelievably unfathomable. And it would have been, made such a huge difference. I didn't have any, I certainly don't recall any visible gay people in the media and TV that I could relate to. Certainly not one that had a necessarily positive spin on it. You know, I, re I recall very vividly uh, a kiss taking place between two men in one of the soaps. I think it was Coronation Street. And the papers were making such a huge deal of this kiss that is not a very big deal. And I just thought, well, if they're re reacting to this, like, what is what is going on here? So if if I was a kid and I read in the papers that actually that there's a, a pride festival taking place in my county, in my home, I would have thought, oh, well, maybe I'm okay. You know, maybe actually I'm, I'm not so unlike everyone else and maybe there is a place for me in this world and maybe I can achieve happiness as well. My first ever pride experience, ashamedly, wasn't terribly long ago. Um, the idea of, of being proud of who I was wasn't something that, that sort of came into play until much later on in my life. Um, it was more um, the idea of accepting who I was. Um, and I watched the movie Pride, I think I was at U Manchester University. And I subsequently then went to my first Pride Festival after watching that because I recognised the importance of it as a political standpoint and also something that I desperately needed to do as an individual in finding pride in myself as opposed to just acceptance. Um, and it's now one of the most important times in the calendar year for me. Unfortunately, we're always going to be privy to hate because it just, it quite simply exists. Um, and it's always something that you have to, to um, combat and to somewhat suppress, you know, because it always hurts. But ultimately, ultimately, this is why events like Pride are so, so important because you can see literally, visibly, the, the amount of support that you have and the amount of love that you can fall back on. There's the most beautiful um, new series on Netflix called Heartstopper that I stumbled upon a few weeks ago. And if I had watched that whenever I was a kid and the way in which it completely normalizes young gay love and young gender identity and queer love and friendship, it would have been the most incredible thing. It's, which is why it's so, so important. It's beautiful and it's gorgeous and it's a lovely drama, but it's really, really important um, for that reason. And I would encourage any young queer person that feels as though they are missing out on a sense of community and a sense of friendship and is feeling a little bit other, um, and a little bit separate to, to watch that. and and be encouraged and to feel the, the connection from it. It's, it's amazing.